Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles, and uh, back in December of uh, 2019, I did a, a video on how to take your, uh, your buckets here and store your complete meals in. And I talked about it, and I told everybody that I would be doing a video and demonstrating how to pack your empty bucket that you can buy from Lowe's, Home Depot, um, you can get them at uh, some of your, your bakeries and stuff like that. Um, uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to start off with what kind of food and stuff that you would you want to put in this uh, that you know hopefully just about everybody will eat within reason. Um, then you want to make a list. Now I did have a, a few questions on you know it's going to be tough to rotate say your stock and everything else. And it is something that you're probably going to have to stay up on. Um, but if you really pay atten close attention to your dates and stuff when you're buying your products and when you do this, these buckets will probably be good for a good three to five years. For one, you're storing it in a uh, cool, dry place. Don't store it in a garage or anywhere like that. Throw it in a closet, whatever. Um, it's going to stay completely dry because it's all sealed in here, so no moisture or anything can get in there to uh, rust the cans. Or anything like that and you know you're there's no rodents or anything that can get into any of your other products second thing you want to do is once you get all that done get you a piece of paper I'll show you what I did on the side here I have my breakfast my dinners uh, your condiments uh, kind of like a little lunch type thing and you just write it right out and I tape it on here now if you notice on here I put the dates that the canned goods say that they're good till. Now that's the sell by date. That doesn't mean that that's when the canned goods are going to go bad. So what we're going to start with, make this quick and sweet. We're going to show you just how to exactly execute this plan. Now you start with your canned goods. You just want to start putting your canned goods in. You know I have like some raviolis and stuff for like the kids. You know, I'm a big thing on having stuff that the kids, you know, will eat. Um, uh, in this uh, bucket, there are three dinners, probably three or four breakfasts, and then some afternoon snacks that the kids can snack on, being like the beefaroni, uh, tuna fish, sardines, uh, Vienna sausage, um, and, and that kind of thing. Um, uh, we have some chicken breasts, some canned roast beef, those down in there veggies you know I have I have carrots I have green beans we have corn we have sliced potatoes we have a big can of corned beef hash for breakfast once you get that down in there, I have a can of Spam taken, you know, hopefully you have some way of cooking. Um, if not, I mean, you can't eat this cold. Uh, I would do that as a uh, last resort, as, a, as um, I have said, you know, but uh, hopefully you have some way of, of cooking, either by a fire, um, propane stove, uh, any type of way to cook, or at least heat it up. Um, then we have, like I said before, some sardines. Let's go right down in there. The Vienna sausages, a couple of those. You know, they're not the healthiest. You know, th this isn't a, a health food type scenario. This is in an emergency situation. Hope everybody realizes that. I have got a lot of comments about everybody likes to eat healthy and have healthy food to eat. Um, I think we all do um, in respect. Uh, but just having some canned goods and things that are on hand will help um, give you some stability in an emergency situation where you can't get your fresh fruits and vegetables and meats. Tuna fish. Okay, over here I have butter. This is a um, um, pure creamy butter. It comes from um, Australia. Uh, this stuff, is, the shelf life on this is 10 years. <clears throat> get that right down in there. I 
have a ham, but you can have that for breakfast or, you know, for your dinner, whichever, you know, whatever suits you best in what you're doing. Okay, that's all the canned goods. Now, I have, the next thing we're gonna put in, I have a whole thing of oats here. Now, if you go by the servings and stuff and how I've shown people how you write things out, um, you know, your servings, there's 30 servings per bag, your calories and, and exactly what you need here. You know, you need a little salt, a cup of water, and a half a cup of oats. You know, so we put that right down in there. Like so. Pancake mix. You know, um, everybody knows how to make pancakes. Get some pancake mix down in there. Alright. Basic three condiments that I, that I choose. Everybody, salt, pepper, and I like a little bit of adobo. Because adobo goes on just about anything. Uh, anything from poultry, fish, meats, chicken, uh, any, anything like that. Those suckers will just flip right down in there. Um, milk. Dried milk. that all you need is water it's not the best tasting stuff but hey you know in an emergency situation like I keep saying <clears throat> all right so we have we have some cornmeal pasta these are shells I'm gonna take my cornmeal actually Oh, my pasta first. Excuse me. That's, like so. So that's pretty solid. So that's vacuum packed. Mylar bags with the auction. Cornmeal. This side. And then you have just enough room, like I always said in, in a couple of my videos. Uh, if, if you want to go back and check them out, it's always nice to have one of these on hand. Uh, this is a mountain house. This is chicken teriyaki. There's two and a half servings in here, and all you need to do is add hot water, seal the bag back up, eight, ten minutes, you got a meal. So if it was a rush or, you know, emergency situation, and that's all you could do is get some hot water. You got something to eat right then and there, and you don't have to worry about anything. All right. There. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> you have your your grab and go bucket. So an emergency situation to go along with your whole grab and go bag and everything else. Um, if nothing else, if you have food that's put up and everything, you want to keep this stored close to your emergency backpack and everything. So if you can at least grab one bucket. That gives you a head start on the things that you're going to need just to try to survive for, the say, the first 72 hours. Now, like I said, in, in this, we have uh, the Quaker oats, we have pancakes, corned beef hash, and the ham. That's all in the breakfast. Under the kind of the lunch and the munchy things for the afternoon, you know, to get the kids through or maybe you through. Um, you know, if you had like some crackers or something. Um... Uh, you have two cans of beefaroni, uh, two cans of Vienna sausages, we have sardines, we have a can of tuna fish, and a can of chicken breast. Dinner, uh, we have cornmeal, we have pasta, we have roast beef, we have corn, um, there's a can of a spam, we have a can of carrots, a can of green beans, two cans of potatoes, um, there's the one mountain house uh, chicken teriyaki, we have butter, milk, salt, pepper, and adobo. All 
in this one little container here. It's all set. It's all ready to go. Got a handle on it. If I had to guess, less than 25 pounds. You know, that's easy to grab, throw, take it and put it in your car, truck, whatever, and uh, get out of Dodge. I want to, um, on a, before we end though, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for the wishes that I've been getting. And um, I had major surgery on my leg. This is the first video that I've really been able to sit down and do. Um, it's very hard. It actually took me two days just to set this up because uh, I'm still walking around with a walker and uh, I've got a three foot long scar going down my leg. Um, but I'd just like to thank everybody for sticking around, um, still liking my videos, watching them. And I thank everybody for the thoughts and prayers. And until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. I'll catch you on the flip side.